It's 88.5 GPB Atlanta. I'm Leah Fleming. There is an ongoing conversation in the Christian community about the Bible and sexual identity. For example, here in Atlanta, Jamal Bryant is a new pastor of New Birth Missionary Baptist Church, one of the most well-known megachurches in the country. Bryant has compared being gay to drug addiction. He's also called being gay a rebellion against God. And in Norcross, David Burzens is pastor of Stronghold Baptist Church. On a Sunday when the Atlanta Pride Parade was taking place, Burzens told his congregation this. The sodomite pride parade taking place in Atlanta, there are a bunch of pedophiles, perverts, reprobate, wicked, vile people walking, marching up and down the streets of Atlanta with their flags and just out and proud. That is from a sermon uploaded to YouTube. Bursons has also said that, quote, homosexuals deserve the death penalty. The Southern Poverty Law Center may soon designate Bursons Church as a hate group. New Birth Missionary Baptist Church is not on the list. So what is the difference and what does it mean to be labeled a hate group? I invited David Bursons to join me in the studio to talk about it. Deeming our church as a hate group is a very gross misrepresentation of who we actually are. Um, There are some things that we say that you may deem to be hate speech because it sounds hateful. And, you know, in fact, there are some things I believe are appropriate to hate. Um, I think you would be a hypocrite if you'd said, I hate absolutely nothing. The problem that many people have is, well, what is it that you hate? So um, I hate many things. I hate child predators. I hate people who are going to inflict harm on others. But I try to line up what I love and what I hate based off of what Scripture says. So when you heard that the Southern Poverty Law Center is actually looking to possibly designate your church as a hate group, what did you think? I don't think much about the Southern Poverty Law Center, to be honest with you, because I know in the past they've fought for good causes and I think they had a lot more credibility. But as of recently, I've noticed that they seem to just be more of a mouthpiece for extreme liberal left wing politics, more than having integrity as to the content and the people who they are attacking these days. So when you have talked about LGBTQ people and you have talked about the death penalty, Mm -hmm. for some people that may sound like a nod to violence. Are you suggesting violence of any kind? Not at all. No, I I absolutely believe in the rule of law, you know, and, and what I'm promoting is a law enactment. I'm not promoting or instigating any violence of any type. I don't think it's Um, the responsibility of of individuals to just take the law into their own hands. And the Bible doesn't espouse that either. Why do you think that you and your church are are being looked at by the Southern Poverty Law Center versus a new birth? Because as I mentioned in the intro, the pastor there has spoken out against being gay as well. Well, I'm not sure on the statements that that other pastor made. So It may not have sounded as inflammatory as mine have, which, I mean, in all fairness, that would be a reason why maybe they look at us instead of theirs. All right. I want to ask you this. Gavin uh, McInnes, he's founder of a far right group called Proud Boys. He is actually suing the Southern Poverty Law Center for designating his organization as a hate group. And I'm wondering, would you consider doing the same if and when they should do the same to you? Probably not. For defamation? Yeah, probably not. I I, am... I still believe in free speech. You know, people can say what they what they want. If they want to call me a hate person or our church a hate group, I mean, they have the right to do so. Now, if that's going to take some extra standing in government or something like that, where where all of a sudden their opinion is going to hold weight to bring some criminal charges against us, that's a little bit different. But that would be the only thing that might concern me. But as far as anybody's opinion, anybody voicing and saying, well, this is what we think, then fine. I'm not, you know, say what you want. I mean, people people have lied about me for for a long time. I don't have the time to invest in, in going after everybody who's going to criticize me or everybody who's going to lie about me um, or mischaracterize our church. The fa- if they want to call our church a hate group, it's not going to impact, I don't think, they're going to have that much power to impact our church overall. 
So that's David Burzens. He's the pastor of Stronghold Baptist Church in Norcross. To learn more about how the Southern Poverty Law Center identifies hate groups, I reached out to Heidi Byrick. She's the director of the SPLC's Intelligence Project, and we spoke over Skype. Stronghold Baptist is part of a network uh, related to another church, Faithful Word Baptist Church, uh, near Phoenix, Arizona. It's run by a pastor named Stephen Anderson, who holds rabidly anti-LGBT views, um, just like in this case. He believes gay people should be put to death. He called for the assassination of President Obama for supporting gay rights, for example. And there's a handful of churches in that network. Um, Pastor Burzens actually was trained in this particular um, view of religion by Stephen Anderson of that church outside Phoenix. So Sean Young, who's the legal director of the American Civil Liberties Union of Georgia, he says that Pastor David Burzens, his comments are protected speech. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. He has every right to say the things that he is saying. There's nothing um, legally that he's violating. These are, it's exactly as the ACLU says, it's his First Amendment protected speech. Our goal in pointing out the hateful nature of this is to raise public awareness about how extreme this is. In other words, we're exercising our First Amendment rights at the Southern Poverty Law Center to call out these views. What does it mean to be placed on the National Registry? Well, for us, when we put groups on the hate list, our goal is to inform the public and law enforcement when the groups are violent, not all of them are, about the existence of these organizations and to be careful, to know that they're there and that they're preaching hatred, whether it be against African-Americans, Muslims, or in this case, the LGBT community. And that way, when folks interact with these organizations or see them, they can have some context to what the belief systems are that they're encountering. So Gavin McGinnis, he's the founder of that far-right group, Proud Boys. He's suing the Southern Poverty Law Center for designating his organization as a hate group. And I'm wondering, what do you make of that? Well, we stand behind 100% our listing of the Proud Boys as a hate group. We have quite a bit of information on our website about their anti-Muslim comments and other extremist comments. Um, So we'll be defending ourselves in court strongly um, against McGinnis' suit. Heidi Byrick is the director of the Southern Poverty Law Center's Intelligence Project. The SPLC says the Stronghold Baptist Church could be listed as soon as next year when they release their 2019 count of hate groups nationwide. This is 88.5.